As I believe we're all aware, the fencing materials market has been a bit chaotic over the last year and a half. So to try to answer how we got here, where we even are, and when it might get better, I brought on Tony Thornton, who is the executive director of the American Fence Association, to talk about his latest report of the state of the industry for the fence installation industry. Now, this was a pretty long interview. It lasted a little bit over three hours. So we actually have cut it down into shorter snippets for each individual segment of the fencing industry. In this segment, Tony and I discuss gate operators, which is a category unto itself, but it's really a category that impacts almost every other category we've discussed to date. So Tony and I discuss where are we, how much have gate operators been impacted in the last year and a half, and where are we going from here? Guys, as always, if you find this content helpful or educational, go ahead and give it a like. Also, did you know that 94% of the people watching this video right now aren't subscribed? That means there's a pretty good chance that you're not subscribed. Take a quick minute and look right below this video. If that button is red, hit subscribe. And when you do, hit that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know each and every week when we have new content available. All right, with all that being said, Let's dig in to this week's segment. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family has been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. For me, gate operators is kind of right up there with agricultural. We don't do a lot of them, so I'm, I don't have a lot of direct knowledge. So this is something I'm really interested to get into with, with you, Tony. So. Let's uh, let's get this started. Yeah, sure. Uh, so the gate operator industry, as we as we know, uh, there's really two or three main components that goes into that manufacturing process. You know, it's the plastics, it's the microprocessor boards, and it's the steel framework and, and all the additives, the pulleys and the chains and everything else that goes into it. But it's pretty much made up of three components, electronics, plastic, and steel. Okay, and then there, there's some hybrid products out there. Sure. But at the end of the day, the gate operator manufacturing industry has been able to maintain its production after the mitigation through COVID. Okay. Now there's still some supply chain challenges out there with smaller manufacturers of gate operators, but for the most part, your large manufacturers have, have kept up their end of the bargain, continue to do what they need to do. Even though there's challenges in all of those areas, it's a much smaller percentage of our market than it is for chain link and like we talked about the ag okay they can keep yeah. up because it's a smaller percentage on how much goes into that foot of fabric sure. so again great job by that that particular area of the industry but when you think about microprocessor you think about electronics you think about chips and all the other things and y'all yeah. know the nightmare that our vehicle industry is going through of waiting on a chip to yeah. get you know those five thousand vehicles out of the pasture okay yeah. you see the pictures a lot of manufacturers are seeing some of those things. The gate operator manufacturers are seeing some of those those things as well. They're also challenged with some of the transportation issues that are plaguing us, and they're also challenged with some of the labor. But for the most part, we haven't seen much delay post-COVID with the arrival of product. And if I had to put an average on it, I would say probably two to three, maybe four week max on delivery for manufacturers to get product to suppliers. And, and we have wholesalers that are selling it. We have whole, uh, direct distribution, you know, selling it. Uh, so uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but I, I, it, I, I'm very passionate about the gate operator industry. That was one of my wheelhouse markets in my, in my career. And I just felt like it was, that's the sixth piece of our disciplines. It, it, it just, sure. it's, it's just all yeah. together, right? So again, if you take away from that is, Things are status quo. Things are good. There's probably not going to be any change other than we've seen the price increases. No yeah. change on that anytime soon so, unless some drastic thing happens. And I mean, sure. that's the snapshot of the gate operator piece. There's not a whole lot more to, to add to it. Well, you know, in, in Tony, so that's kind of that's kind of a relief, you know, as we've been talking about the other sectors that are, you know, a little bit more doom and gloom, right? Yep. Or, you know, that are being really being hit hard. It's good to hear that there's at least one of the sectors that <laughs> is having difficulty. Don't get me wrong, yeah. Uh, but maybe they're not being as hit as hard. Exactly. Very exactly. Good. Yeah. The interesting thing about gate operators is you know you see that sector used by almost every other sector. When we're talking about you know the six main sectors are vinyl fencing, 
wood fencing, ornamental, chain link, and ag, you see each one of those use their own version of automation. That's right. Right. So you see that sector used across all others. Exactly. Some of these other sectors, you know, like we said, agricultural fencing uses a little bit from wood, a little bit from chain link pipe steel. You know, you see some sectors interacting with others, but gate operators. Well, Tony, I've got to say, you know, when you're talking about gate operators, gate operators really affect all the other sectors. So I like to hear that they are least affected because, I mean, if you think about it, if gate operators were affected in the same way that the other sectors are, it could really have an incredible impact on each and every other sector. So. Exactly. I really appreciate you putting together your look at how the gate operator industry is looking and your state of the fencing industry report. I appreciate all appreciate your work. It. Yep. Thank you. Now, guys, as I said in the beginning, this is a multi-part series. We took about a three-hour live interview and cut it into separate snippets and categories for different styles of fence. If you haven't watched the other videos, be sure to watch them now. And also, if you found this content helpful or educational, please consider giving a like. It really helps our channel, and it's absolutely free on your end. But for now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And we'll see you next time.